Hi, I'm a 57 year old Canadian from the Vancouver area and um, starting two years ago I went on a semi-vegan diet and lost about 10 kilograms and I would just like to share some of the information that I've got from my research. It wasn't hard to do. There are plenty of YouTube videos about the benefits of a vegan diet. Um, lots of websites with this information. So anyone with any interest can find this information quite easily. And um, I found um, two American vegan diet researchers really useful. Um, one is uh, Dr. Barnard and the other is Dr. McDougall and they have YouTube channels. And everything that they say is uh, supported by um, research, actual laboratory research. Um, so first of all, um, one of the things I learned about uh, milk was that actually humans should only be drinking their mother's milk when they're young. And after around age two weaning, they shouldn't really be drinking milk anymore. Cow's milk was not meant for humans. Okay, so there are a lot of reasons why we should avoid cow's milk. Um, cow's milk contains a lot of saturated fat. And saturated fat leads to uh, obesity, diabetes, cardiovascular problems. By that I mean heart attacks. So really, uh, from, that's one very important point. The uh, uh, saturated fat. Uh, another myth about milk is that we need to drink milk uh, in order to have strong bones. But actually, uh, we can easily get calcium directly from plants, especially green vegetables. Um, and uh, now there's some controversial research which um, claims that the more milk people drink, the greater the frequency of bone fractures when they're older. So think about that. Um, another uh, important point that I learned was that it's actually a bit shocking. Milk contains pus and manure, feces. Of course, um, dairy farmers try to limit it and control it, but it's there. So with every glass of milk, you're taking, you're ingesting feces and pus. And another um, common myth is that we need milk in order to build muscle. Uh, milk being a form of animal protein, but which is really illogical. If we look at um, large, heavily muscled animals like elephants, horses, bulls, and even gorillas, which are closely related to humans, they all are herbivores, get their uh, muscle from plant protein. So really, it's very wasteful and un unnecessary to um, try to get our protein from meat. We don't need it. We, 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 um, so it's a real myth that you gotta eat meat. And actually, um, Dr. Barnard said, you know, uh, believing that you need to eat meat or animal protein in order to build muscle is like believing that you need to eat brains in order to be smart. I thought that was quite good. And um, now, one of the interesting things I learned was also about um, estrogen. So estrogen occurs naturally in pregnant cows and so it ends up in the milk. Uh, but in addition, some dairy farmers add growth hormones, estrogen, um, to their uh, to the food for the uh, dairy cows. So that, get, that gets passed on to humans. And um, now this estrogen causes some side effects. In fact, one of them is uh, reduced sperm count in males. 
So you may want to uh, cut back on the milk for that reason. Uh, in addition, estrogen promotes the growth of cancer cells. Um, another interesting fact I learned is that in a study of um, cancer, breast cancer survivors in California, they found that the women who went back to eating um, a um, high-fat dairy diet, meaning drinking milk, uh, eating cheese, ice cream, had a 50% higher chance of dying uh, from breast cancer again, I mean uh, a reoccurrence, than women who did not eat this. So all in all, uh, these doctors recommend that everyone take a break from dairy and see what happens. Your body will feel better, you'll lose weight, you'll have fewer headaches, less joint pain, fewer stomach upsets. So give it a try. I hope this has been helpful. And um, I'm not a professional video producer, but I just wanted to share this information. Stay healthy. Bye.